that I'm queen of rescheduling an appointment, especially if it doesn't align with my daily goals that I have for myself on that day. Just about ready for work. I look like I have no color in my skin because I just messed with the contrast on this camera and I feel like that is like a never ending thing with this camera and I and I just can't even at this point. But I'm ready for work. I'm literally waiting on my coworker and um I slept so good. Even though it wasn't that long, I slept really, really good and I feel like it's because I spent like quite a bit of time on the road and honestly when I was coming home, I literally felt like I was this close to passing out because of the goddamn walking that I was doing. I ended up walking from an appointment that I had, which in essence wouldn't be so far because I've walked further than that. But today, I don't know what it is. And I made sure that I ate before I went to that appointment. So I really do not understand what it may have been. But thank God we're past that and we're here and we're in high spirits. So, like I said, just about ready for work, waiting for my coworker. Um, I just need to put my outer jacket on, and um, then I'm basically gonna be ready to go. Gonna be ready to go. We need to put um, a bit of color in my skin. I can't even. I can't even. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna sit here, wait for her. I ate earlier, and the food was so good. I have some. A subway sandwich with me. I'm gonna eat later on. So excited about that. But um, yeah, that's it for now. Hi y'all. So many days later from the last time I picked up this camera, I have an appointment tomorrow that I'm just not thrilled about at all. And I'm not thrilled about it because of the time. It is at 2 p.m. Had I been off tomorrow, maybe it wouldn't have been an issue. I mean, maybe it would have been anyways. But I'm not off tomorrow. I'm not only. Not only am I not off tomorrow, but um, it's just too late in the day. I feel like the way how um, I need to start doing that. I operate and like my productivity works is that I have to, my appointments have to be earlier in the day, like morning time. <sighs> because like that is when my sleep window starts at like... 2 p.m. 3 p.m. in the afternoon to sleep to be able to go to work i cannot guarantee that i'm gonna come home from work tomorrow and sleep straight away to be well rested to go to this appointment at 2 p.m but i'm gonna have to and if i can't sleep from in the morning when i get home until 2 p.m then i'm gonna just have to make it work when i'm a little tired and even though that's not what i wanted to do i don't really have a choice because this appointment is not one of them appointments i can reschedule because y'all know that I'm queen of rescheduling an appointment, especially if it doesn't align with my daily goals that I have for myself on that day. But I can't reschedule this one because um, it's hard to get. And this doctor literally spreads herself thin or himself thin. I don't know what it is yet between maybe three different offices. And I don't want to go to the city for this appointment. So I have to make it work because this office that he or she goes to is very close to me and uh, it just makes sense and I kind of have to figure it out. So I'm a little bit annoyed that I don't really have a choice. But that's the plan. Mm -hmm. I just have to come home, get everything together, figure out the clothes I'm going to wear, put that out, shower, and try and go to sleep. Honestly. If I can't sleep, then hopefully the appointment isn't too long and I'll be able to, since I actually have an appointment, I'll be able to sleep after it's done. This is the plan. We're sticking to it. I'm getting ready to go to work. I have about, I'd say 30 minutes still before my coworker gets here. My hair is kind of going through it. I have a good day or two left before it starts looking crazy. But thankfully, that's all the time I need before I have to fix it again. So that's good. I like to. Maybe that's why my hair grows so much because I don't manipulate it too much. Whatever it is, love that for me. I gotta go. I somehow feel like I had the longest appointment in life. Because I went to my appointment and then that lasted an entire hour. As if I didn't already have to wait 
to see the doctor even though I got there early. And then um, last night my manager told me that my nails were gone. And the state is coming and whatever. It wasn't too long to me. I had them on for a month, so it was time to get a refill. So I got French and I cut them down really short, which is fine with me too. Sometimes I get annoyed and I cut them down. If you've been here for a while, you know that I go through these phases where I just go through and cut it down after I've had it for a while. I stopped by Subway, bought a sandwich because I've been out all day, all day or what feels like all day. And right now it's 5 p.m. and I literally just want to eat, sleep, so I can go to work later on. I stopped by the grocery store. I'm obsessed with popsicles, so I had to buy more. I love these mangoes, so I bought some. And I bought some vitamin water, which I'm kind of obsessed with right now, too. And some coffee creamer, because these days, I'd be needing the coffee. Okay? Okay. So now, we're going to sit at the table, eat something. Um... Yeah, my other ID that expired. I need to actually take it out of my purse at this point. The annoying part about wearing one purse is having to empty it whenever you come back from like wherever you are going or whatever the case is. I don't know. Now that I got permanent, I could take that out. Um, another appointment Monday. Oh my God, I'm sick of these appointments. <sighs> but whatever, I have to go. So yeah, I'm gonna sit chomp down on half of this sandwich really quickly take the other half with me tonight or something i'll figure something out because there's food there but yeah 